Hi everybody. I decided to do an impromptu video so this isn't going to be very well done but I hope it does give you an idea of the three curriculums that I have used or have um, looked through because I have all three physical copies here to show you and I'm just going to kind of compare the different ones. I th One is um, Simply Charlotte Mason, one is kind of like a Charlotte Mason idea and the third one is probably a little bit more like traditional schooling kind of feel, but it is Christian based. But anyway, I have all three. I've used two of them and I looked through the third one to kind of see if it was something I wanted to use. And I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you these. Um, I've kind of been watching a few of these videos. They wouldn't have been my normal thing to pick up, but I'm actually seeing more of the pages and I wish there was a few more of these things out there. Um, for many things. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a video. So let me flip the camera around and show you those three spelling curriculums. Okay, so these are the three curriculums that I'm going to be showing with you. Um, I have a video on this. I will link that above. I've heard many things about this one, and I've used this one in the past, and I grew up with this curriculum. Um, I'm not choosing these in any particular order. They just ended up like this on the floor when I was laying them out, so this is how I'm going to do it. This is the one that I am currently choosing to use for my family. Um, I really like how this works. Again, you can see that video linked above, but you have, it's called dictation. So I read this and they're going to copy. If I had done this ahead of time and knew how to read it in such a way that they would know where the punctuation is, that would be the accurate way to do it. However, um, I have them read this and then they kind of, pick out words that maybe they don't know and if they don't understand what they mean then we kind of go over that and then they kind of just get the idea in their mind how this is going to be and I actually have them also write it on a whiteboard because then as, if something is wrong it's easily erasable they don't have to physically erase it I just kind of brush over it and I'll write it out for them and I kind of break things down so that they can remember it better and then they write it out in their books. So that's how this one works. It starts out very simple. And then just over time, it builds up. Now this is the book two, which I believe is for grades five through eight or five through nine. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll put it right here when I can look it up. And I also have book one that I'm using for my lower grades. So um, I like how this is just, it's, you're learning these words in a kind of more natural format. The next book I'm going to show you is this one, and I've heard so many things about it, but when I went online, well, let me step back a bit. As I was doing this one, the boy in my school was really struggling with that. He is from a public school. Um, we have been homeschooled our entire life, so we didn't have that um, experience. And I think the transition from a public school to a homeschool was a little bit difficult when, when you don't have that kind of structure. Um, this was, I think, very confusing for him as to what I was expecting and how I was expecting him to learn it. So I just knew that things were not working out. I just had it in my gut that he needed something a little more structure. And of course, I really like Charlotte Mason and I really like how that works. And so I've heard many good things about this. There is spelling you see and a reason for spelling. And both of them, I think, are very, very expensive. Just for what you're having. It's a spelling curriculum. Um, but this is level D... And I think I was able to find this used for $15 just for the student text. Now, I say used because there, it really isn't written in. 
I when I have gone through it, I didn't see it. But I'm going to um, kind of share with you what I don't like about it. Okay, so write each word as the teacher says it. So there's your dictation. Okay, there's your scripture. Write each word in the correct boxes. There, you can read that. There you go. Okay, and if you have, you really do need this teacher text, I think, for this. And I don't know, it just seemed like busy work at that point. Okay, so then you've got hide and seek, create a bar by, okay, and then you've got. Now, since I do not have the teacher text, see, we're still on lesson one, I can't tell you how much of this you are doing in a week. Okay. You go back and you do lesson two. To be honest, Things like this really, really irritate me, especially in the younger years. I mean, I think as you get older, it'll be easier, but especially in the younger years, you look at the words, these, the first three, and if there's anything misspelled, you're going to circle it in. Now this one has no mistake. This one has no mistake. This one, pebble, is spelled Mom, wrong. Really Reptile. I really, really, really hate when things have a misspelled word that you're supposed to find. Because a kid may have a complete confidence in how to spell a word, and now he's second-guessing himself. It happens every single time. So that's something I really hate. And I just felt like a lot of this is just busy work. You know, things like this, I would say just skip it. So, it is it is bright and colorful. I know that's so important with a lot of people. But, I'm not going to be using this. I actually try, I'm trying to resell it. And, but I wanted somebody to see what you can, what this kind of curriculum holds. Personally, I did not see anything like this on YouTube. That doesn't mean it's not there, or it just means that I'm a terrible researcher when it comes to stuff like this. But anyway, if this is something that you, that this is the kind of thing that you like, I just wanted to share that with you. It's extra busy work that I really don't find necessary to enforce a spelling concept. But there is a second spelling curriculum that I've had. I ended up using this one for the boy that I teach. I grew up with this. We even started with this. Um, and it has basically a day-by-day -day thing that you do. And do, do you can tell this is used. It's been erased. There's some circles. I picked both of these up used. Um, there is this. And there is an answer key. I have not needed any of the answer keys. And I think I'm all the way up to book five, but um, that's, you know, subject to change. Teacher suggestion, what you're going to do. Here's what the student is required to learn. Here's a little, you know, cursive because they are encouraged to do more cursive. Okay, so then what happens is you have your vocabulary. You have... You can kind of see a theme here. And then circle the list words in each sentence so you're going to find and circle. So that's day one. This is kind of a five day program here. Oh, I forgot. For this, you only do it two to three times a week. Day two, um, you're going to practice writing the words on a worksheet, look up any words that you don't know, and 
kind of memorize it. Save those sheets, and I'll explain to you in a minute why. You have a spelling guide, so then it's building up of words. Um, and then, you know, here's some ideas. <clears throat> Day four, you're going to choose the correct word to fit the correct meaning, or a word to fit the correct meaning. Then you have a practice test, and then lesson five, you're going to look over your words again, make sure that you know them, understand them, and then you have a test, and the test is in the back of the book. Okay, and then so as you, the teacher, get the test, the student writes it down here. And that's where those sheets, when they write them down twice, come in handy. Then I just read from that list as I'm giving them the test here. And this is um, Christian Liberty Press, so it is also Christian based. So they do have. Yeah, whatever. Um, again, I picked these up secondhand. They were on a homeschool Facebook used book site. And I think I got um, book f three and four for about, um, I think, $12 with paid shipping. So that's, what, six bucks each. Um, that one was about 24 And again, a complete set of this is like $35 plus shipping. Christian Book Distributor, CBD, used to have these. I don't know if they still do. Um, and I think you can get them on Amazon in the used section, and they, they don't have to necessarily be rich. But anyway, I thought I would share those. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it was helpful, and have a good day. Bye.